Well, a lot of you have been dealing with windy conditions all day long. Sean, I know it woke me up overnight. We got a lot of sticks in the backyard. Unfortunately for some others, some serious damage we're seeing too. Yeah, I just checked IPL's uh, website. They're down below 4,000. Uh, That's still good. like 3,800 and uh, Duke's over a thousand as well. And there are a couple of times the kids looked at me, you know, the, the house was kind of shaking a little bit. <laughs> uh, and hey, would you believe me if I, if I told you our high today was actually 61 degrees, believe no it or way. not. I it, only occurred, it, it only occurred at three in the morning. So oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's run down the numbers for today. Big story, obviously the wind. Uh, we did pick up some rain as well. And even some rumbles of thunder. I'll point you to your attention to our averages, 53 and 36. So uh, we will go above the average high before we get to the weekend. I mentioned some rain. So we've got a couple of showers. These are the wind-whipped variety. These are quick movers. Won't amount to much. Uh, getting driven by some strong wind even at this hour. But the wind will gradually ease. The wind advisory is set to expire at 7 p.m. But you can see those gusts at times uh, will be 35 to 40. Now, we had gusts uh, 60 plus at times during the peak of this bad boy. Uh, temperatures right now ranging from 44 in Richmond, 46 in Indy. So that produces wind chills in the 30s. Now the wind is going to ease overnight tonight. And uh, with a clear sky, we'll see the temperatures get down to about 30 tomorrow morning. And that means even with a little bit of light wind around, and I say light, it's still going to be 10 miles per hour. So as you get ready for the kids getting outside, you get into work. Think wind chills, dress for 20s, because that's what we're going to have. Now, we do get back into the 50s tomorrow, but it will be a breezy day. It's not going to be as strong as today, but it will be a breezy Monday for you. And so here's the afternoon tomorrow. We're in the 50s. We'll get into Tuesday, and we're going to have a cold front come down Tuesday morning. It won't bring us much precipitation, if any at all. It won't bring us any clouds. But what it will do is kind of reinforce the chill. And keep our highs on Tuesday only in the 40s here. And that northwest wind will stay pretty persistent. So the next several days are going to be breezy until the middle part of the week. I think Wednesday, things calm down a bit. Uh, notice we're going to have uh, pretty clear conditions, no major storm systems. Once we get on the backside of that high, then we'll see our temperatures rebounding later in the week. And that will send them into the 60s for several days, including the weekend here. So 46 on Wednesday jumping to 62 on Thursday and staying in the 60s. Next best chance of rain shows up Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening.